There's a few things you need to know when you're raising chickens in Florida. Over the years, I figured out that um, there's three big main things for chickens in Florida. You know, the first one being the the feed you feed them. You know, you need to. Um, I use a. You know, you don't have to use medicated, but I I put a medicated chick starter and a three-way scratch or a four-way scratch mix. That's always a game winner. They love that. And um, that'll keep a lot of fat on them. And in the meantime, speaking of that, there's one over here on the thing. There's another one out here in the yard. I don't know what they're doing. They're wandering around doing something this morning. But with that being said, they, um, they need a good diet. And, you know, if you can free range them at any point, you know, if you have them kept in a pen for the most part or things like that, if there's ever times you can free range them and let them out in the yard, nine times out of ten they'll come right back to their coop. So people are like, oh, you let them out, what if they run off? Uh, they usually don't. And if they do, it's probably going to go to your neighbor's house and get on the fence or something at nighttime when it tries to roost, so it'll be easy to catch. Um, the second biggest thing, and this is probably the biggest thing, if you're raising chickens in Florida, put screen around your pits. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the number one killer. People come to me all the time texting me or calling me saying, oh my chicken's got coriza or it's got chicken virus, what do I do? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, there was a time where I was in your shoes and then I realized that it wasn't. What happens is the mosquitoes land up on top of their combs right here, they'll bite their sinus cavities. Well, they'll, they'll bite anywhere on their combs, but once they get right up here in the bridge where that comb meets that sinus cavity where the beak comes, they bite in there and it will cause a swelling or an infection. It'll cause the nasal cavities to close. Well, when that closes, they can breathe up through their eyes, kind of like people can. Well, there's a vent through here that comes up to your eye. Well, their eyes will start watering, their eyes get puffy, swollen, closed, and they start swelling out real big like this. People say, oh, it's got coriza, it's got this, it's got that. And that's not the case, it's mosquitoes is what it is. And once they get that and once they get that problem, it's hard to fix them, but I can pop the, what you call oysters or infections out of their eyes a lot of times. I'm one of the only people that can work on those eyes. I've saved a lot of chickens from mosquito infections and different things, but putting a screen around your pins. And I don't mean, I mean, even if you do wire, even if you do wire all the way around the thing, overlap it with screen. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna save you so much so much time, effort, and pain from your chickens. And then the third biggest thing about raising chickens in Florida, humidity. Always remember chickens don't have lungs, they have air sacs. So when, you know, take a, here's what you need to do. Wash your cooler out. Wash your cooler out, like after you get off the boat or from a kid's sporting event or anything. Wash your cooler out. Close it. Let it drip dry, close it. Come back day later so open that thing up when you feel all that hot moisture come out of there now you, you know you say oh well, I dried it when I was done or I left it flipped upside down it should have dried well moisture finds places to hide and once moisture gets trapped in an area or it gets inside the barrier of a cooler or it gets you know on the other side of a lung or it gets inside it's hard to get rid of and humidity in Florida is bad like here lately with with the way it's been here in 2021 uh, there's been no rain it's been five months there's been no rain it may have rained once or twice when I say rained, it was very brief. But um, other than that, when it's when it's dry, rainy, dry, rainy, dry, rainy, you know, your chickens sit out and all night breathing and then breathing in. You remember what your folks used to tell you when you were little? Uh, breathing in all that night air ain't good for you. It makes you sick. At least that's what they say down here in the south. And um, it's that moisture air is what it is. And, and humidity is a big thing for chickens. They start gargling. They start getting moisture in here and blah 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 having a nice dry spot it's one of the biggest things you know or having a spot where they can go where they can get out of the moisture whether it be a, a nice wood box or something that you build inside their coop you know up off the ground a foot or two where they can get out of the moisture you know and that's a that's a big thing but but i'll say out of all three of those the biggest thing is going to be nutrition and and screen doesn't matter how big the pens are the bigger the better but always remember mosquitoes are the numero uno killer of chickens down in the south and that I can promise you if you don't believe me come down here and try to raise some and when your chickens start doing weird stuff and acting weird and getting things that oh this didn't happen where I come from back in Oklahoma I didn't have this in Canada or we lived in Maryland we had chicken we didn't have these problems you know just reach out to me 
I'll fix your chickens no problem anywhere in the southern United States. I'll fix your chicken. But other than that, I wasn't college educated on chickens. I was hands on. And ain't no training like hands on training, I promise. You live and you learn like the old folks say. If anybody ever needs help with their chickens, reach out to me in the comments. Anywhere, click on another one of my videos and comment on it. I'll get to you. I ain't too good to too good to talk to my people, that's for sure. But anyways, you guys have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.